Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations and in today's video we are going to create this. So you can create this in Blender for absolutely free. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in Blender and it's completely up to you. You can use any version of Blender you want. I'm using 3.2. And before I begin, you can see that over this corner, you will get all the keys that I'm pressing on my keyboard. So if you get lost off track, then you can just simply refer to this location. So first, let's select all the layers by pressing A and after that X and let's delete everything. First, we are going to add our text. So shift A, let's go under the text. Just click on it. So over here we have our text. So you can select the text after that, press the tab and then you can just simply type whatever you want. I'm going to type cinema. After that, you can press tab again. Just make sure that this is selected, then go over here. And from here, we are going to select our font. Just click on this icon and you can go wherever you have saved your fonts. And it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. So once you have your font, you are pretty much done with it. Now let's select this and we're going to change a couple of settings over here. First, I'm going to set this to center. After that, we are going to rotate this along the X axis. So press R X 90 degree. So now you can see that we have our text and now let's add some 3D geometry to this. So let's go under the geometry and let's set the extrude to something like 0.25 and we can probably select this and press S and let's scale this. Press Ctrl A and let's apply scale. So over here we have our text and now I'm going to add some bevel to this. So first let's select the text and now let's change some of the properties over here. So first I'm going to set the depth to something like 0 0.025 and let's set the resolution to something like 20. After that we can switch from round to profile and over here we are going to change a couple of these things. So you can play around with this curve but for this example all I'm going to do is just simply select this point. Let's move this to the very bottom, something like this. So if I zoom in, you can see that we have created this really nice bevel edge. So this was before and this is after, just like this. So we are pretty much done with our text. Now let's add our camera. So, so let's press shift A and let's add a camera. After that, you can select the camera and let's press N on the keyboard. And let's go to the item properties and from here I'm going to set this to 90, this to 0 and this to 0 as well. After that we can move our camera using the Y space, something like this. So let's move it somewhere around here. Now you can select the camera and you can press numpad 0 on the keyboard to go inside the camera. And from here you can tweak this further. Let's set this to negative 10. After that we can select our text and let's press S. So I'm going to quickly scale this. So this is quite big. Yeah, so I think this is looking fine. Again, press Ctrl A, let's apply scale. And now press G, Z and let's move it a little bit down. Something like this. So I think this is looking good. Now let's begin by adding some materials and lighting to this. So let's go out of the camera by pressing the numpad 0. Now you can select the text and I'm going to quickly change this to render view something like this now you will notice that nothing is visible so let's begin by creating some lights so let's press shift a after that let's go to the light let's select the area light you can see that we have this light so press g z and let's move it to somewhere around here we can go inside the camera to see that light is right above our text so just place it somewhere around here after that you can press s and let's scale this quite a bit, something like this. Again, you can press G, Z and let's move this a little bit above, something like this. Now we can select the light and you can go under the light settings and let's change the power to something like 10,000. Now you can see that it's too much bright. So first let's change some world settings. So if you go under the world tab, from here let's change the color to black. After that we can select our text and let's add some material to this and let's click on new. First, I'm going to change its color. So let's change this to dark black, something like this. After that, I'm going to change the metallic and let's turn this to one. So you can see we have this really nice text. And again, we can select this and let's enable the clear code. Let's set this to one. Now you can select the text and you can play around with the 
roughness it's completely up to you if you don't want any roughness you can set this to zero but for this one let's set the roughness to somewhere around here so yeah, i think this is looking fine so you can see that we have our text now let's add more lighting to this so let's go out of the camera and i'm going to quickly go inside the solid view now let's select the light press shift d to duplicate this after that i'm going to select this light press g z and let's move this below now this is facing down so we are going to rotate it so press r x let's set this to 180 degree something like this now let's add some lights to the side as well so again let's select this press shift d to duplicate this now we are going to rotate it so r y 90 degree and let's again place it by pressing g x let's place it somewhere around here then g z and let's place it below and again let's select this lights press shift t and let's press g x and let's move it somewhere around here after that r y and let's rotate it 180 degree so you can see that we have lights from all the sources and if i go inside the render view you can see we have this sort of look now this is completely experimental you can go ahead and play around with the intensities of light and you can see whatever works for you but for this example i'm going to quickly change their settings so let's select this and i'm going to let's go to the rendered view and i'm going to set this to something like 2000 and let's select the one which is on this side let's set this to 2000 as well and let's select this one and let's set this to 2000 as well so i think this is looking fine now if you want to add some colors you can do that it's completely up to you you can select these lights and you can add some colors to them something like this but this is completely up to you for this example we are going to set these to white only now let's add some animation to the text so first i'm going to move my timeline over here and i'm going to move my timeline indicator to somewhere around 60 let's select the text I'm going to press I to insert a keyframe and let's add a keyframe for location. If you want, you can add some rotation as well. But for this one, I'm going to just stick with the location and let's go to the beginning. And somewhere around here, let's move the Y position so that our text is somewhere around here. It's completely up to you. You can go into the solid view and you can just check out your text so yeah now you can right click and let's insert a single keyframe so if i play back here you can see that our text is going back to its original location now along with this we also want the characters to move in so for that we can select the text and let's go to 60 and if you go under the text properties you can see we have this option called character spacing something like this so at 60 let's add a keyframe so right click insert keyframe and let's go to the beginning and over here let's increase this quite a bit so 10 is the max so let's right click insert a keyframe so there you go now you can see we have this sort of look so the text is moving behind as well as the characters are moving closer so if i play back you can see we have this so if we want to enhance this more we can do one more thing we can select the keys and we can change this to graph editor after that we can zoom out and we are going to change the graph and just make it look a little bit different for that i'm going to select this and we are going to select this endpoint then press r to rotate it just rotate it 90 degree something like this after that you can select this press g and let's move it somewhere around here and let's select this endpoint press G and let's move it somewhere around here so that your curve looks something like this and let's do the same thing with this one as well so let me just quickly select this press G and let's move it over here let's click over here select this handle press R and let's rotate it to 90 degree and again press G and let's move it to somewhere around here so now if I play back here you can see we have the same animation but it has more character to it so you can enable the rendered view and now you can see that we have created this animation 
you can click on this icon to hide everything and there you go now you have your text now the best part is you can select the text press tab to go inside the tab view and you can type whatever you want and again press tab now you can see that our animations are already applied there is one more thing that you can do you can also add some light in front of it let's press shift a and let's add light and let's add a area light after that we are going to rotate it so let's go to the solid view first and let's go out of the camera and first i'm going to press r x 90 degree and now let's just quickly scale it so i'm going to scale it along the x axis something like this and let's move it behind so press g y and let's place it somewhere on the front now you can go inside the camera and we can go inside the rendered view and let's increase the intensity of this light to something like 500 now we can play around with the thickness something like this and let's set this to 100 only now you can add some rotation to this something like this and here you can see that we have this really nice reflection in the text now we can also animate this light as well so let's go to one and after that i'm going to change its position so let's move it somewhere around here and let's press i and insert a location keyframe and let's go to somewhere around here and after that we are going to change its position so let's move it to the top corner something like this after that right click and click on insert single keyframes so there you go now you can see that we have this really nice reflection going on in the text as well so you can disable everything so if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice reflection in the text as well so this is how you can create these kind of cinematic look and now let's quickly see how you can render this out so let's change some of the settings so let's go inside the render and you can enable bloom if you want so it will add so you can see that it will add a little bit of this really nice glare over here so it's completely up to you let's enable screen space reflection and let's disable half resolution and after that you can go under the film and from here enable the transparency because you don't want the black background behind it so that you can composite it inside any software like after effects or you can do that in blender as well now once you are done with that we can go inside the format and let's set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 frame rate it's completely up to you you can set whatever you want now the end animation so our animation stops around 60 and we can just simply set this to 70 after that under the output you can select the file format to ppng let's select rgba and compression we don't need anything color depth you can go with 16 after that you can select where you want to save your file just select whatever folder you want wherever you want after that just click on accept and you are pretty much done with these after that the last step is just to go to the render and just click on render animation so once you are done with this it will give you a sequence of images something like this so you can just scroll ahead and you can see that the animation is playing you can combine these in any software like after effects or in the blender itself or you can simply render out a video footage for that all you have to do is just simply select the ffmpeg and after that you can just simply select wherever you want to save it and it will render out a video so this is how you can create some cinematic titles in blender for absolutely free and the project file for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and templates which are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one